Identifying Geometric Sequence. How do we identify geometric sequence? Let's have an example. We have here a set of numbers that includes 54, 18, 6, and 2. So to identify if a set of numbers is a geometric sequence, we are going to divide the different sets of succeeding numbers. So for example, we have here 54 and 18. These are two succeeding numbers. We also have 18 and 6. And then we have 6 and 2. So to divide, we are going to put the right side or the number on the right side on the numerator. This will be 18. And the number on the left will be the denominator. This is 54. And next, we are going to divide 6 and 18. We have 6 and 18. And then we have 2 divided by 6. So dividing 18 and 54 together with this, we can simplify. 18 is common between the numerator and the denominator. So we have here 18 divided by 18. This is 1. 54 divided by 18. This will give us 3. How about for 6 and 18? 6 is common between the numerator and the denominator. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 18 divided by 6, this is 3. And for 2 over 6, 2 is common between the numerator and the denominator. 2 divided by 2, this is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. We can see here that all the quotients are the same. So since all the quotients are the same, this one, we can say that this is a geometric sequence. A set of numbers is a geometric sequence if there is a common ratio. So all the quotients here, this is called, they are called common ratio. Identifying geometric sequence. Let's have another example. We have here a set of numbers. We have 3, 12, 36, and 144. Let's identify if this set is a geometric sequence. So first, we have to have two succeeding numbers. We have here 3 and 12, and we also have 12 and 36. And lastly, we have 36 and 144. We will divide the succeeding numbers. So the number on the right will be the numerator. We have here 12 on the numerator. The number on the left will be the denominator. We have here 3. And 12 divided by 3, this is 4. Next, we have 36 and 12. 36 will be on the numerator. And 12 our denominator. 36 divided by 12, this will be equal to 3. And then next we have 144 all over 36. 144 divided by 36, this is equal to 4. As you may have noticed, 3 here is different from the two fours that we obtained. Since 3 is different, we do not have a common ratio. And since we do not have a common ratio, this set now of numbers is not. Okay, again, this is not a geometric sequence. Identifying geometric sequence. Let's have another example. We have negative 8, positive 32, negative 1 to 8, and positive 5, 1, 2. Okay, let's identify if this set of numbers is a geometric sequence. So first, let's have here the consecutive numbers. We have negative 8 and positive 32. We also have positive 32 and negative 1, 2, 8. And we also have negative 1, 2, 8 and 5, 1, 2. And then we will get the ratio of the consecutive numbers. The number on the right will be the numerator. So we have here positive 32, and the denominator will be the number on the left. We have here negative 8. So 32 over 8, this is equal to negative 4. And then we have here negative 1 to 8 
all over positive 32. This is negative 4. And lastly, we have 5, 1, 2, all over negative 1 to 8. This is equal to negative 4. So the three ratios here, they are equal. So since they are equal, we have here a common ratio. And since we have a common ratio, this set of numbers now, this is a geometric sequence. For our last example, we have here a set of numbers 5, 2, 0, 0.8 and 0 0.32. So first, we have to identify two consecutive numbers. We have here 5 and 2. We have 2 and 0 0.8 and we have 0 0.8 and 0 0.32 we will then get the ratio of the consecutive numbers so the one on the right will be on the numerator we have here two and the one on the left will be the denominator we also have here 0 0.8 all over 2 and we have 0 0.32 all over 0 0.8 2 divided by 5, this will give us 0 0.4. 0 0.8 divided by 2, this will give us 0 0.4. 0 0.32 divided by 0 0.8, this will give us 0 0.4. As you can see here, we, we have the same ratio. So this is called a common ratio. We have here a common ratio. And since we have a common ratio, this is now a geometric sequence.